consortium of pubs and bars on social media that have come together and are basically saying, look, we don't care. We're going to open on the 4th of July, right? They're not, they're not waiting around for the government to give them instructions because they feel as if the government, are, you know, they're... Uh, they're twiddling their thumbs or twiddling their thumbs, right? They're sitting on their hands and not really being proactive, which we've seen most governments do around the world, right? People are quick to close down, quick to lock up, but then they don't really have a scooby of what to do when it comes to reopening or restarting the economy. So bars and restaurants are taking it within their own hands and saying, we're going to reopen because if we stay closed for another month, we could essentially go under, right? There's no way they can survive another month with, you know, thin on the ground income coming in through delivery services, which, you know, some restaurants aren't even equipped to do anyway. So they're just completely losing money. So I get it. So um, this is sort of like uh, imagining what will happen and what the scenario is going to be like. This is an article from BBC again. It says, when will pubs, bars, cafes and restaurants reopen? Pubs, bars and cafes, restaurants in England may soon be able to reopen their doors for the first time since lockdown began in March. On Tuesday, Prime Minister Boris Johnson is expected to confirm the hospitality sector can reopen on 4th of July, which I'm not sure if that's like a thing that's happened as a consequence of the pressure from the bar owners or if it's a date they always had in mind. Um, either way, interesting to see how they're going to spin that one tomorrow. He said, Mr. Johnson is also expected to announce uh, a two metre social distancing in England to be relaxed with more con some conditions. But despite the easing of restrictions, a trip to a local bar or place to eat could be a very different experience from the, how it was before the outbreaks. So here's it says, how um, when will it begin? When will it begin? It's going to begin the 11th. Uh, it, the plan was published on the 11th of May. Uh, what are the rules now? said on 20th of march all pubs and bars and restaurants were asked to shut in order to stop the spread of coronavirus the only exceptions to that were cafes and canteens at select few spaces at such as schools and hospitals and prisons since then many restaurants have started offering food delivery um, and takeaways in order to uh, generate income while their doors are closed some pubs have also been allowed to offer takeaway beers which you know the selective thing is a bit annoying and like i mentioned before some restaurants just aren't set up to do deliveries or takeaways right um they need um oh, sorry deliveries or collections they they sort of need passing trade to make it work um they continue to say what about the rest of the uk each nation set its own rules or the, what the main local the reopening so what's the measure? okay it's new measures um new measures at the weekend health secretary hancock suggested people visiting pubs may have to register before going for a pint which is absolutely nuts but hey is it, it it'll be a real test about how much you want to drink in it well are you willing to sign away your privacy and have the government be aware of every time you enter a boozer or you know um the article continues here it says um he said the government is looking at ways to strengthen contact tracing as the economy reopens the mexican restaurant oaxaca says it's considering a range of measures to keep staff and workers safe customers are likely to be given option of ordering food on the apps while the staff will be encouraged to wash their hands every 20 minutes if if you know if working a service job wasn't annoying as it was right having to deal with customers and annoying you know authoritarian power hungry managers imagine having them and the customers demand that you wash your hands it's already bad enough right with those fucking karens that go around you know complaining that somebody touched something and touched the other thing you know those kind of people and the ones that are looking in the kitchen and seeing if hygiene stands are being kept imagine now them being aware of this <sighs> i can imagine a lot of fights um, it says here, looking at the industry is the third largest employer in the UK. Madness, 3.2 workers in that sector, 3.2 million, sorry. Um, what the country's done. So um, another one of the kind of additions they said with the pubs, I don't think they mentioned this article, but there was another one where they were saying that um, they will introduce a law or a temporary license. Yeah, temporary relaxing of the licensing laws so that pubs could allow people to drink outside because if you don't if you don't have a beer garden you're basically fucked during lockdown isn't it you need to have um in order to get people in so if you're not able to have people in your beer garden because you don't have one you can also have people standing outside in the street which is a great addition i think so let's see man um fourth of july couldn't come sooner i think it's a good thing going forward like i mentioned previously i think people need to take their minds off what's happening in the world i don't think it's healthy for you know i don't think it's healthy or productive for general public to be worried about how to sort out an issue such complicated as systemic racism or police reform right these are things that should be um left to the experts to sort of like handle and then we can vote on what the best idea is once they're done but for people on social and stuff to be you know so caught up with this 
especially just because they have nothing else to do um, is a waste of time in my opinion um i think they could be best served being supporters and cheerleaders as opposed to driving these things but hey what do i know but i, I do think once these pubs are reopened you're going to see a drastic decline in the amount of people going out protesting but it's a good thing though because the people left protesting the people left kind of pointing up the good fight will be the ones that you want to be there right they're the people that are protesting week in week out they're the ones that are at outside of parliament square shouting and raving on the weekends and stuff and handing out leaflets and zines so i think we'll be in good hands once everyone goes back to shopping goes back to getting a haircut like myself and goes to the gym goes to a bar i think we'll actually be in a far better we'll, we'll, there's a chance that we might live in a far better world after the fact i think so